Hi, my name's Nate, and welcome to another Photo Player Friday here at Outside the Vacuum. Today, we're going to look at the pipe organ portion of the Style 15 Photo Player. There are 24 wooden stopped bass flute pipes housed behind the piano in this cabinet. And for testing, I connected the signal hoses from the piano to the bass chest. I also connected the wind line from the bass chest that goes to the treble chest in the piano. And the photo player manual calls for 20 feet of blower line. I'm actually using sewer pipe, which feels very appropriate for the project. Now 20 feet of line in my shop is asking quite a bit. But after finding a place to lay it temporarily, I was able to connect the regulator. What's a regulator? This is the same type of regulator I'm using on the photo player, and it's essentially just a box with a sealed but movable top. When we introduce pressure into this box, that top lifts up a movable top, and it moves this roller, which covers a screen, and that roller affects the size of the opening and therefore changes the pressure. So this is our input side from the blower. This is the view from our regulated side. But movable top. And by using springs pulling down and weights on top, we can affect how much air gets through that regulated screen. And of course, the more air we're forcing through a smaller opening means we're going to get higher pressure. And if we didn't have this regulator, the volume would change because as more pipes speak, there'd be more demand and there wouldn't be a way to control that. That's a wagoedo. And lastly, I connected the blower. Yes, it's a bounce house blower. With everything hooked up, the bass pipes could be tested. And of course, yes, there were issues. Now I wasn't able to record the testing because it's a lot of stopping and starting, so we'll do a quick demo and an overview of some of the things I found. One issue was the pipes overblowing or receiving too much airflow. The size of the hole in the toe regulates the flow of air into the pipe, which determines the volume or loudness of the pipe. The original toes on these base pipes were modified by a previous owner, so I made new ones last year. I was given measurements from a friend off a similar size photo player, but they still needed some dialing in. In some cases, I had to open the holes up for more airflow. And there were a couple that I actually had to take the whole size down with epoxy putty. There were a couple pipes that still wouldn't speak properly even after adjusting the toe holes. On one, I found a crack in the pipe causing leakage. Of course, air loss in the pipe means a loss of volume, or loudness. And there were about five pipes that had warped covers which allowed for leakage. I chewed them up with sandpaper while trying to remove as little material as possible. There. There was one pipe that wouldn't speak loudly because of a leak in the pipe stopper. These stoppers are for tuning and have a leather seal. I was able to glue on a paper shim between the leather and the wood core for a tighter fit, which helped that leak. Speaking of tuning, here's a quick demo on how these wood stopped pipes are tuned. Moving the stopper in shortens the length of the pipe and therefore raises the pitch. It's a lot like a slide whistle. Now I didn't film the tuning because my camera can't record video and run the tuning app at the same time. 
Also, it's very boring. With the bass pipe sorted, the 37 wood stopped flute pipes could go in the piano and be given a test fire. And then the 37 metal violin pipes. These things still freak me out. I just feel like they're made of tinfoil. I had sent them out for overhauling last year, so they're in pretty good shape. Next, let's take a look at the tremolo. When working properly, the tremolo gives a vibrato or ethereal voice to the pipes. The tremolo is essentially a valve that intermittently vents air from the organ pipe system, causing the pressure to fluctuate rapidly but consistently. There are three adjustments on the tremolo and I could just not get this thing to work. So I took it off and instantly discovered that it was misaligned when it was installed from the factory. There are some times when you just gotta socket to it. So I use a socket as an alignment tool to better locate where that tremolo should be mounted on the valve box. Between this and a couple more adjustments, we were able to get it working. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, that's all the pieces of the organ puzzle in place. Now for a little demonstration, we'll run some music just with the player piano portion of the photo player. Then I'll run that same segment again with some organ pipes and you can hear the difference. Now, as we know, my shop is not a recording studio, so I apologize for the background noise, but hopefully this gets the point across. Of course the organ pipes give a couple more voices to the instrument, but they also help carry the volume of the piano. Thanks for watching. Next time, we'll take a look at a butt ton of cosmetic details. And now I'm going to check the color, because I forgot earlier. Stay tuned, if you want, no pressure. <sighs> I apologize for the background noise. So I apologize for the background noise, but background noise.